So the doctor decided that Monday night at 10 p.m. we needed to go into the hospital and we were gonna induce. And our on our way to the hospital, right? Yep. You're gonna do great. This <laughs> is so great. <laughs> Poor Andrea was so nervous about what was about to go down. It is 10 p.m. I just uh, parked the car in the lot here. We are at Centennial Women's Hospital. Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, we're gonna have a baby. So Andrea's inside and I'm about to go in and um, get settled in. Wish us luck. All right, boo. Hey. Ready to rock? Superstar, that is what you are. Pregnant superstar. That is what you are. As soon as we got there, the room next door was doing a hard 10 count. Game time. Game time. Thank God there was a TV and the Preds game was on to block it out. All right, we got her set up. Got her set up to go. We got the IV going on in here. Got her some Sprite. Sad face. You can see Emerson's little heartbeat. 145. It's crazy. Sometimes it goes up to like 170. Andrea's in the green. She's at 70, 69, 68. All right, we're all set up. We've been here for, geez, what, two hours now? It's an hour and a half? Yeah, probably something like that. By the time we got up here, yeah, probably like an hour. So take us through the nines. What's going on here? <sighs> Do tell. I just got a pill to start. Popping pills? I, well, I wish. I <laughs> some kind of good pill. <laughs> Some kind of pain pill or something, but mm. it was a pill to start the process. Mm. What else? Four hours. You got an IV in you, and in four hours you. In four hours, we'll see if I need a second pill. Could you do me a favor? Don't wake me up in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to wait for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know, but I'm already ready to get this out of my arm. I know. It's only been an hour. I'm ready to take it out. The patient's bed. Papa Bear's bed. Sadly, a Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, mate. It is, uh, what time is it right now? It is 12.02. 12.02, Monday night, Monday fun day. Hey, it's an exciting Monday. It's been a very different Monday. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the delivery room, Centennial Women's Hospital here in Nashville, Tennessee. Andrea's got bad acid reflux right now. I just made her take a pill to induce her. So you wish, you wish now that you didn't seduce me, so you wouldn't have to be induced right now. <laughs> you had to do something like this. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't want you to. I like you. I don't want you to have to go through this. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we made it through the night. Barely. Barely. I could have got some sleep, you know, if that one over there wasn't complaining all night long. <laughs> it was like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We came in at 10, and we are probably in here by 11, for sure, and... They gave her the medicine at like 12. And they come in every four hours to put it in you. So she made, I think.
think we probably fell asleep around 1.30 or 2. I don't know if she slept at all, though. I, I did not sleep. And uh, she was in some pretty big time pain around 4 in the morning. And so we went and got the nurses. And then they decided to give her the epidural then instead of wait. And so they gave her the epidural around 4.30 a.m. And then we slept really from then until probably about 5 to 7.30. It's like 8 o'clock now. I'm already exhausted. Can't imagine how you feel. Ugh. You know, they got like woken up for like every hour by this thing, taking my blood pressure. And then they come in and did a bunch of other stuff to me that you were sleeping. Don't worry, I was holding her hand when she was in pain. It was so good. It was like the worst feeling ever. And I can't believe how bad it was. Now I can't feel my legs. It's probably a good thing. It's hard to move though. You don't know what you're doing with your body. <laughs> like, <no control laughs> over here. I don't think she wanted to tell you that your water broke, but you really shit yourself. <laughs> no. That would be nice if it broke on its own because they didn't have to break it. Oh, yeah, yeah, honey. That was your water. That was your water. Your water's brown. <laughs> I'm just kidding, she didn't shit herself. Yet. Yet. Uh, let's play a game of Would You Rather. Okay. <laughs> would you rather have to go through contractions for four hours like you did last night, or live in Antarctica? I'd probably live in Antarctica. <laughs> for being honest. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like shoving rusty would nails you, in my eye would be less painful than what happened <laughs> Would you rather have to live off Brussels sprouts the rest of your life, the only thing you can eat is Brussels sprouts, yep. or do four hours of that? Just eat Brussels sprouts. You Brussels sprout queen? Yep, I was pretty much, I was thinking last night what was happening, I was like, I'd rather get, you know, I've had a lot of like dental work and teeth pulled and stuff in the last I was like, I would get every tooth pulled out of my face right now if this would stop. <laughs> it's like, it's so less painful. <laughs> it's funny. It was so bad. I like, can't believe that people do that without drugs. I don't know what they're thinking, why they would do that. It's so bad. I didn't expect it well. I guess I didn't know what to expect, but. Not that. You're rough, huh? Oh my god. It's like the understatement in them. I don't, I don't have the right vocabulary to even explain how bad it was at one point. Well, we were waiting for them to come in. <clears throat> Would you rather go through those contraction pains you did last night for four hours or have to be one of the Kardashians' assistant for the rest of your life. <laughs> I should have think about that one. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where they made me stop filming. You're not allowed to film in the pushing process. So from 10 to 11.54, uh, she pushed and then Emerson came into the world. So stay tuned for the next episode and you will get to meet your favorite girl. <laughs> <laughs>